Hey everybody, this is Mike from Hot Pixels Hawaii, back again with our third installment. Today we're going to go over how to highlight the individual player using Windows Movie Maker. So, it's my laptop here, let's go ahead and open the program. Uh, we're going to click the right side, choose what footage we want to highlight, double click, loads up to the app. At this point, we're going to find exactly at what point we want to highlight the individual. So we're here, let's go to the top of the page, hit caption. Then under text duration, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and type in 0.25. I just want it for a quarter of a second. Then I'm going to go to the font size and I'll click that and I'll have to type in 100. Next we go to the, the font style, and I found that this font style looks the best for, for what I'm using it for. It's called AR Bonnie, it's towards the top in this program. So here I'm going to drag the text window to the top, I type in capital O, shrink the text window, and there, that's the individual I want to highlight. I put it a little bit high on them, I fill up the bottom portion with them because the text usually sinks down a little bit. So there's our split second text in the story. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit snapshot. It's going to go and open my photos album. I'm not concerned about what the title is, I'm just going to click save. Because it's not only going to save there, but it's also going to save towards the bottom of my footage. It just it puts the snapshot there. So I'll go back up to the top where I put the text. Uh, I'll click there. Then I'll go to the top, hit edit. Open to my split option. I'll hit split. At this point, I will click on the, the text. I'll right click and I'll remove it. I no longer need it. The snapshot that I took earlier has has the uh, has the highlight circle around the individual. So here's my snapshot at the bottom. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna drag it to the top. Right here where I split the footage and I'll drop it there. Next I have to change the duration of the snapshot from 7 seconds to 0.25. I just want it to be real quick. It's going to seem as if there's a pause in the action. So let's cue it up, play it, and boom. So everything stops for that split second, and this is what it looks like. This is what the finished product would look like. So we're here, and boom. Everything kind of pauses. It's just a quick still frame highlighting the individual. Now, this is another way I like to do it. Is, um, I'll find exactly at what point during the footage I want to highlight. I'll go to my caption. And text duration, I will do the same. I'll type in 0.25. size to 100. And my font style to the AR body. Okay. That opens up our text window. I'll type in a capital O. I'll shrink the text window. And I'll drag it. And I will fill the bottom half of the O with the individual. Because when you play it back, the O actually drops down a little bit, so there we go, let's cue it up, play it back, and this time there's no snapshot, it's just continual footage and just a real quick hit and run, just a real quick uh, circle highlight around that individual. This is what the finished product would look like, so we're here, and boom, highlighted, and the play continues. This way is a little bit quicker, a little easier. 
just depends what you're going for. This is the two different types. This is the snapshot one. Or boom, everything stops. And then some people prefer that. It's pretty much just personal preference. But I've used both in highlight videos. So here's the the other one where it's just continual footage and just a quick text will pop up around that individual home you want to highlight. And that's about it. Simple as that. I just wanted to thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you in some way. If so, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment of what kind of videos you want to see next. And yeah, with that being said, have yourself a great day and take care. Bye-bye.